वंदे गुरुपद्वंदम भक्तबिंदसमित श्रीचैतन्य प्रभु वंदे निंदसौदित श्रीनंदनंदन वंदे राधिका चरणोद गोपीजन सयुक्त बिंदावन मनोहर वाछाकल्पतर वश्य कृपा सिंधु पति पावनेभ्य वैष्णवभ्यो नमो नम मुकोति वाचा लंग पंगु लंग हैतगिरि यत्तमह वंदे परमानंद भक्तिपदेवी सत्यभक्त नमो नम नारायण नमस्कृत नरचम देवी सरस्वती वैस तत्जयो मुकर्तने कृष्ण कथोपदेश गौरीय पत्र प्रकाशने सदानुरक्त गुरु भक्ति जुक्त भक्ति प्रमोदाक्ष जगोपरुण ध्येय सदा परिभवनमीष्टदोहम तीर्थास्पद शुभभरंजनता सरण वीतातिहम पुनतुपालीपूत वंदे महापुरुष ते चरण यदपादपल्लवनकचंदमनीछटा विस्फुरीजीतकोपवधुसुवादर्शी पूर्णागर सागर सारूर्ति साराधि कामयि कदा किन्नचैतन्य प्रभुनीतानंद श्रेयादर शिवसादी गौरभक्तबिंद श्री कृष्ण चैतन्य प्रभु नितानंद श्री अद्वैत गदाधर शिव सदी गौर भक्त बिंद हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकर्तनकितर कमलाक्ष विशाबरो दिजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणाभतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे आजानुलंबित भुज कनका बुदा तो संकर्तन कवितर कमलाक्ष विशाबरो दिजरो जुगधर्म पालो वंदे जगत प्रिय करो करुणाभतारो हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे नमा गंगे तव पादपंकज सुरासुरबंद दिव्यूप भुक्ति मुक्ति चीनीतवाण सदा नरा गंगातरंगरमणीयटाकलाप गौरी निरंतर विभूषि तो वाम भाग 
नारायण प्रिय मनंगमदापहारम वाराणसीपुरपति भज विशनाथ पागीशजुष्वदने लक्ष्मीजस् च वक्षसी जस्ते हृदय संसिंगमह भजे हरे कृष्ण हरे कृष्ण 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 हरे 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 राम हरे राम 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 हरे हरे जीव भई कतोच्युत विकर्षति मा विप्ता कृष्णोन्नतस्वुदरम श्रवण कुतस्थित घ्राणोन्नतपलद्रिकचकर्म शक्तिर्बोषपत्न घृपति लुणती जीवैकोच्युत विकर्षति मा विप्ता कृष्णोन्नतस्वुदरम श्रवण कुतस्थित घ्राणोन्नतपलद्रिक्वाचाकर्मशक्तिर्बोषपत्न गृहपति लुणती गौर्य गोष्ठीपति शिशिल भक्ति सिद्धांत तो सरस्वती गोस्वामी ठगर बहुबा परमंश जगत गुरु जी ने बता ही टोल्ड दैट माया जय कर टू गेट कंट्रोल ओवर माया टू गेट विक्ट्री ओवर माया and when all our anarts are gone from our heart what will happen after that because to get victory over anarth and to get victory over maya it is the not a great thing this is actually a preliminary thing the greatest thing the greatest accomplishment is not to get victory over maya this is not a big thing the i have already talked about this point previously as well Prabhupada speaking that to get your control over Maya, to get victory over Maya, what you will do after getting victory over Maya, that matters. What you will do after that? Because when you will get victory over Maya, you will become Maya Vadi. Or and after becoming a Maya Vadi. you have just got victory over maya when you will do the bhagwat seva when you will have that serving attitude towards bhagwan then it is okay otherwise it is very difficult it is not at all possible to get out of that because inside bonded souls at present in the present situation the most difficult issue the most difficult issue <coughs> the main issue it uh, it has become that how to get victory over maya maybe you can just get victory over maya but you maya to get victory over maya is not actually hari bhajan but still to get victory over maya when you will get after that you can do hari bhajan or maybe it is not possible maybe it is possible why because if you get under the guidance of pure guru vaishnav pure guru vaishnav if you can do bhajan then you can get victory over maya if you just get victory over maya and if you are just going uh, according to your own self then you will go then you will stay there only and you will not get victory over maya sadhu guru ki bagina nalik narottam das narottam das tagore already spoke on this point in his kirtan that there is no other way to get control over maya by your own individual efforts you cannot get uh, victory over maya whatever you arrangements you are making it is all hopeless and useless this is nothing will be done without the krip of pure guru vaishnav it is impossible to get uh, you you will not get control over maya it is impossible every person has individual has that arohavad abhu 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 avad means that oh my arrangement individual mangal should be there lot of pratishta should be there it is these all these asur people actually they are all abhudevadi but vaishnav is not doing like this vaishnav always want the just by the kripa of krishna actually everything is going on 
एंड आई एम जस्ट गेटिंग वॉट एवर बाई द क्रिप ऑफ गुरु वैष्णो एंड भगवान बाई हिज मर्सी एक्चुअली आई एम गेटिंग एवरी थिंग ओके आई डोंट नीड एनी थिंग अपार्ट फ्रॉम दैट एंड दैट्स वाई अरोहवाद दैट इज़ वेरी डेंजरस बिकॉज ऑल दोज असुर पीपल एक्चुअली दे आर जस्ट दे आर अभुदयवादी दे जस्ट वॉन्ट डिफरेंट काइंड ऑफ प्रतिष्ठा मनी पावर एंड दे जस्ट आर ऑल एक्चुअली हैविंग जस्ट कलेक्टिंग इंडिविजुअल प्रतिष्ठा ऑन दिस स्टूल एंड यूरिन ऑल इज स्टूल स्टूल प्रतिष्ठा एंड यूरिन दे जस्ट नीड दैट ऑफ दिस मटीरियल वर्ल्ड लाइक रावन He actually just wants uh, uh, want to disturb all the heavenly people and uh, demigods, and he just want to make their own uh, uh, servants. All those demigods, you see the power of Ravan, and Ravan also has uh, just made uh, one staircase to go to heaven as well. And he also made one effort and one plan to make a staircase to go to heaven. बट बाई द विल ऑफ बाई बाई द कृपा ऑफ कृष्णा ही ही इज प्लानिंग जस्ट गॉट अबेंड एंड ही एक्चुअली प्लान दिस इज ऑल रबिश प्लानिंग फॉर बाय रेवन एंड ही डिडेंट गेट इम्प्लीमेंटेड सो दैट्स वाई ही जस्ट गॉट ओवर बिफोर दैट दीज ऑल वर्क आर इन द भागवतम दीज काइंड ऑफ फुलिश वर्क वॉट दैट वी आई विल मेक अ स्टेयर केस Uh, he'll plan to make a staircase for heaven. This kind of vritti, actually, this planning and program, this kind of uh, uh, braveness, material braveness, that we just want to become a hero. This actually, it's uh, written in Bhagavatam that don't do that. It is strictly prohibited in Bhagavatam that don't become a hero like Ravan. It's like how Prabhupada actually speaking that it is like. Like a, like a, there is a powerful lantern. A torch is there, and by just forcefully, he is actually just uh, giving it to the Surya, uh, Lord, Lord, Lord Surya. He is just taking one big torch and just uh, showing his power in the night time. In the night time, he is just uh, he wants to see the sun. Why I can't see the sun in the night time? definitely he will i am just giving so much light so it is actually foolishness that uh, arunodaya when the sun rises that process you have to stay there to just uh, when the sun will rise you have to wait for that you have you should have that patience so that you can see the sun when it will rise and uh, the the light of the sun only it is possible that you can uh, see sun god and what uh, and the light of the sun by the help of the light of sun you can just uh, uh, see everything in this material world by the help of the sunlight all those who are actually by their own uh, arrangements they are just want their individual arrangements they are just making up their individual arrangements so that they can be comfortable Uh, materially, they are actually are arohavadi. They always by their uh, own uh, individual efforts, by their own power, they are just believing that everything is done. They always have belief. They don't have any faith on pure Guru Vishnu and Bhagwan. Oh, they don't have any faith. They just believe on their own individual powers and efforts. But there is one thing which is a hundred percent sure that those. Who have those who are uh, those who are actually making uh, uh, different different arrangements for Arohabad? They are all incomplete. They are not complete at all. So Prabhupada speaking that that uh, this twenty years of civilization actually modern civilization. If you can imagine that there is twenty years back old civilization, 
और दोज हुआ एक्चुअली एक्सपीरियंसड दोज हुआ हंड्रेड ईयर्स ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन यू कैन गो बैक एंड सी देर इज अलॉट ऑफ अविद्यता दे आर एक्चुअली ऑल इनकम्प्लीट इन देयर ओन मैनर दे आर बिकॉज देर आर लॉट ऑफ मिस्टेक्स एंड फॉल्ट इन देयर सिविलाइजेशन आई कैन वी कैन फाइंड एंड दे आर वन थाउजेंड ईयर्स ऑफ सिविलाइजेशन ऑल्सो यू कैन गो बैक विच इज़ नॉट देयर एट ऑल नाउ एंड एंड दैट टू ईयर टू हंड्रेड ईयर सिविलाइजेशन बैक दे आर ऑल एक्चुअली यूजलेस दे कैन ऑल्सो भी अप्रूवड यूजलेस सो इफ एक्चुअली वी विल बी जस्ट बिजी विद ऑल दिस सिविलाइजेशन फुलिश सिविलाइजेशन बाई अरोहाबाद बाई फॉलोइंग द पाथ वे ऑफ अरोहाबाद इट इज़ वेरी डेंजरस पाथ वे दिस इज नॉट द इंटेलिजेंट पर्सन विल नॉट एट ऑल फॉलो दिस पाथ वे एंड ही विल नॉट मेक हिज इंडिविजुअल अरेंजमेंट्स टू गो इन टू दिस पाथ वे इफ ही विल डू देन देर विल बी अ लॉट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम दिस इज अ वेरी प्रभुपा स्पीकिंग वेरी स्ट्रेंज थिंग दैट यू हैव जस्ट कट विक्ट्री ओवर अनर्थ एंड माया देन आफ्टर दैट वॉट यू विल डू दैट्स द मेन थिंग Uh, this is all the arrangements of Maya Devi. We have uh, haven't uh, completed our uh, uh, our point yesterday. Where there is actually actual uh, mangal mein happiness, absolute happiness uh, with the karm. There definitely uh, will be uh, some uh, problems created by Maya Devi. You can always remember, no, that when Uddhav Ji Maharaj just uh, in Bhagavad Katha. he he was just going to sit for the bhagavat katha at uddhav kund then uddhav ji maharaj parikshit uddhav ji maharaj was already told to parikshit maharaj that you have to go and you have to you have to just make sure uh, that uh, be uh, those you have to make kali attentive and careful that because he is actually doing all kind of rubbish things so parikshit maharaj speaking that uh, that i will also i also want to hear your hari katha and uddhav ji maharaj speaking that yes i know that you have come here to hear my hari katha but this is the first thing this is my uh, upadesh to you instruction to you that you have to just control get control over kali because kali will come here and will uh, destroy everything here so where i can go and uh, hear bhagavat katha and you are actually just making me going here actually uddhav ji mara speaking this is your actual seva you have to go there and control kali no worries you will get the bhagavat katha to hear from shri sukhdev goswami paramhans so you don't don't uh, don't uh, uh, fear about this you go there and control kali because if kali will not get control then if i will do hari katha then there will be lot of problem yesterday also same thing happened i actually di- didn't uh, get i didn't uh, complete my hari katha just for one hour i can do so it is actually a request of prahlad maharaj to lotus feet of nirsingh dev that oh prabhu ho oh, achut my actually tongue uh, is actually going towards different direction is pulling me in different direction and he is not getting satisfaction at all it is there is always dissatisfaction inside my heart he is like prahlad maharaj actually speaking for our own uh, in for giving us the own uh, uh, teaching so that we can find his teachings that i just want to take uh, i have i have one capacity of my tongue for taste but this tongue will not speak that okay maharaj you just be stop i am already satisfied this tongue will not speak that i am satisfied it all the time it will this tongue will speak that okay give me more give me more give me more there will be no satisfaction uh, inside my heart for this tongue this tongue will ask more and more and my ling and my it's actually pulling it in different direction and my skin is actually pulling pulling me and forcing me towards different direction it actually just wants to get touch of different different things and my stomach all my stomach and intestines are just pulling me in different direction they actually want to eat different different kind of foods and digest it and my he- hearing organ my ears are just pulling me in different direction and my ghran shakti 
and my eyes are just uh, pulling me in different direction just see different different material things and uh, i am just getting that feeling to do more material karma different different kinds of material karma actually is pulling me like a person uh, who is getting a lot of uh, wives lot of wives like a muslim people have like they are just getting marriage for 10 20 ladies they have actually for each woman they are getting 10 to 12 uh, child also they have their rules and uh, when they have a lot of wives how they are actually pulling a one purse one husband you come to me you come to me like this and they are just actually uh, uh, getting uh, getting her loot and uh, that uh, husband where he will go because from all the four direction he is getting pulled from different different wives she ha- he had like the case you can understand like there is one chariot and in front of that chariot there is a, a horse and if you have just made some arrangements that in front of the chariot and in the back also and in the left and in the right from all the four directions you are just having four horses and you are just making you are just going to make the horse go go and from all the four directions horse will go they will just pull the cart chariot from all the four directions and uh, uh, what will happen in that and if that horse will all the horses will just pull it from all four direction when that chariot will go chariot will get destroyed completely so this is the condition now that's why prahlad mana speaking that that our uh, they are just actually looting uh, her husband from all the four directions like it is it in reality if you that in shrimad bhagavat maharaj mahapurana it is already written about this that prahlad maharaj ji is actually speaking it's uh, other place also it is written in shrimad bhagavat ji mahapurana lot of examples are there in our house all our family members actually they are just uh, from all the four directions we they are just uh, pulling us they are just uh, have uh, made a round circle in front of us and from all the four directions they are just uh, our relatives our uh, all our family members have just uh, uh, rounded up in a circle from all the four direction and they are just uh, they and we are thinking that we are all they are all uh, आवर्स ओनली ना दिस काइंड ऑफ भाव इज देयर इन साइड अवर हम दे आर ऑल अवर रिलेटिव नो दे आर ऑल आवर्स ओनली यस दिस काइंड ऑफ भाव इज देयर इन साइड अवर हार्ट बट बट यू शुड हियर इट वेरी केयरफुली दैट इन श्रीमदी भागवती महापुराण दैट दे आर एक्चुअली सजन अख्य दक्षु इट इज एक्चुअली लुकिंग दैट दे आर ऑल आवर रिलेटिव ओनली एक्सटर्नली ऑल माई रिलेटिव एवरी थिंग इज देयर बट बट दे आर एक्चुअली एनिमीज इन रियलिटी they are actually big thief they just want to rob you in bhagavad gita mahapurana it is written they are actually robbers from all the direction they are actually want to rob us i can just give you one example like in shrimad bhagavad gita mahapurana it is written like the case of tridandi bhikshu story of tridandi bhikshu bhagwan actually speaking to uddhav ji maharaj that you can see that this he is tridandi he is actually a big man he is a big businessman he is a brahman but he is a big businessman with lot of power he hasn't done any work of a brahman but actually he he actually is going in some kind of business and uh, what kind of behavior he has the behavior of as a brahman that his he is not he should do karma according to that but it is not in his uh, uh, swabhav so actually brahman means a uh, 12 kind of uh, different qualities of brahman is not there inside the inside tridandi sanyasi so he don't have that uh, brahman 12 qualities but actually he is just uh, getting into uh, taking lot of money 
but he has just taken lot of money from the business but he hasn't given any money for his own relatives and for anyone he is actually he is not spending any money on his family and anywhere else he is just uh, making sure that he is just uh, accredited uh, in his account and one what happened that one uh, robber one theft came and he has just taken all his money from his house and one king person came and you have just taken so much you have to give the tax so all the money just got looted and all his family and they just have uh, they have something some remaining money and they have just taken that money from him and they have just uh, this person has just come on the road now he don't have a single penny in with him he don't have any support now so all his relatives also have just kicked him from the house so he is now crying like swami maharaj they were actually just uh, kicked from his house in the same way like param madhav go swami maharaj was the person who is supporting him at that point so in at what at that time what happened he actually was thinking uh, about this thing that maharaj uh, how it happened so much money i have so much this thing i have and i am my age is also 60 years now but still my my all relatives and my family and all relatives actually they have just kicked me out of the house and they have taken all my money and the king also has taken all the money as a income tax and some of the money has just got looted by the thief so now i am without any support i don't have any support and without bhiksha i don't have any support now i am actually bhikshu but after that what happened he actually has made his mind that inside his heart he just made the uh, one thing inside his heart that now i have to take sanyas now why because because now he thinks that he all he thinks that now actually i think that there bhagwan actually just making a lot of bhagwan is very happy with me today how it is actually possible that uh, bhagwan is now very happy with you your mind was not like this before because now i think that uh, towards to today i am getting that viragya inside my heart viragya is not a simple thing it is very major thing and all the relatives and all my family they all taken my money i am actually getting all the bhav inside my heart that i am just getting a detestfulness towards this i am just getting uh, dissatisfied oh, what the attraction i am getting towards the money and all the family relatives i am not getting it now like a camphor when it after uh, it just got uh, vanquished when you get it on fire so now i am thinking that today bhagwan hari is actually very much happy with me today bhai because how happened it how it happened today because from your birth till now up till 60 years over it's not happened that bhagwan is happy now today i think that bhagwan is very happy with me and inside uh, there is one uh, peacefulness eternal peacefulness a very nirbin bhav is coming inside my heart oh now actually lot of things have happened now i don't want to do it is coming inside the heart so he has just made uh, his heart mind that i will definitely take sanyas and he has taken sanyas and after sanyas he is actually just uh, 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 doing kirtan of bhagwan and he is taking the lotus feet of bhagwan krishna and he has taken always just want to take the lotus feet of bhagwan krishna on his head and so nice uh, mind he has now like mahaprabhu has he has given the example of this tridandi sanyasi he has just made uh, one example of this that he was just uh, uh, mahaprabhu also going to vrindavan and just speaking about this shloka what tridandi sanyasi was speaking that i have just taken sanyas now actually there is no stopping me so actually all relatives and son there is no way that they can stop me now and now there will be no uh, barrier for me in the way of the bhajan and now i can just do bhajan and i can just hear hari katha and i can just do kirtan of bhagwan shri hari and there is no other thing and okay i will just uh, uh, do bhiksha and i will eat and it is already written in shrimad bhagwat ji mahapurana also sukhdev ko swami pad also told about this are are bistara kis liye dhoonde are why you are just uh, finding the bed it is actually uh, 
फ्लोर ओनली स्लीप देयर ओनली दिस एक्चुअली दिस फ्लोर देर इज एक्चुअली योर हैंड्स एंड वाई यू आर एक्चुअली जस्ट टेकिंग वन कंटेनर आई विल टेक विद द हैंड ओनली एंड आई विल ईट देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम एक्चुअली there is actually be this beautiful uh, vicharadhara what this tridandi vikshu has so this kind of vairagya uh, what th- this bhava actually shown uh, by tridandi vikshu is can only be done by the mercy of krishna then today actually i am thinking today that krishna is very happy with me so this uh, tridandi vikshu is become uh, uh, vairagi and uh, onto the lotus feet of krishna he is always crying and he has taken the shelter of uh, bhagwan charan he has taken uh, his resolution to do complete seva that he will do complete seva that's why i have just taken sanyas because to do completely but krishna say if in a grast devotee also uh, if inside his heart he is a sanyas then externally he don't have to take sanyas you can understand this point or not like a grast uh, person he has sanyas inside his heart like shri vas pandit he has actually natural sanyas inside him like bhakti vinod thakur his sanyas is also natural whether he is just going with a stick to the market or whether in in the jungle or whether in the house he is staying because bhagwat ji mahapur is speaking this point that sanyasi jo na drishti na kankhati jo kisi ka that those who are actually not going against anyone and though they don't have any uh, material desire inside their heart nothing is there inside their heart in bhagwat ji mahapuran bhagwan shri krishna already speaking this point they are actually eternal sanyasi that you are actually you are just going with the stick actually they are nitya sanyasi like bhakti no thakur vish vishnu pure priya dev is also nitya sanyasi gadadhar pandit is also nitya sanyasi shri vas pandit also nitya sanyasi why how they don't need to take sanyas because sanyas is actually it's actually a, a bhav condition condition of bhava different kind of this is not that you are taking an externally one stick or some dress orange dress mahaprabhu ji actually just speaking in bengali about this mahaprabhu ji in bengali actually speaking about this point mukund shevan roto koilo nirdharan mukund shevai hoy sanshar taran Mahaprabhu already speaking this point. That that sanyas means that all your your life actually everything, your by body, speech and mind, you are serving uh, uh, Bhagwan. You are just given it on to the lotus feet of Bhagwan with a serving attitude. That is called sanyas. If you are act and be 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 without taking. if without taking any external ways bhakti no thakur uh, sanyas is getting said then there is no problem prabhupad actually given a, a lot of discussion about one shloka very uh, very nice shloka actually jodi hari tat hai tapasa tatasti naradhito jodi tapasa naradhito jodi hari hi tapasa tatasti antar vahir jodi hari hi tapasa tatasti na antar vahir ट and if bhagwan is actually satisfied if he is not getting satisfied by my austerities and penance that all those austerity penance should go to go into water i don't want to do that so those austerity and penance if bhagwan krishna is not getting satisfied with me then all those kind of austerity and penance should go in water what will happen with that and if inside and externally both bhagwan is present inside my heart and he is very satisfied with my aradhana then uh, above that nothing is what i need if bhagwan is satisfied me if i am just getting internally and externally just getting remembrance of bhagwan all the time is hari katha 
then and if i will just uh, can do different kind of arrangements of aradhana for bhagwan this that this that what i have done for bhagwan but if bhagwan is not not satisfied with all this then what i will do this actually this is actually comes in the category of yukta vairagya so this is the actually the in depth analysis of yukta vairagya so it, which is already written in bhagavad gita samrit sindhu uh, our uh, rupa goswami pad is already mentioned it in the samrit sindhu has uh, just given us a deep analysis that is the actual hidden treasure of gaudiyamat so the thing is like that this who can just get victory over the all the shard waves and shard repose what the actual point we are discussing now this is the point this actually is all this point is going on no so we are discussing this point who who is who is that person on this whole earth on this whole world who can just uh, completely uh, can control his all material sense organs by the kripa of krishna uh, if he uh, who has just done control over his material sense organs by kripa of guru vaishnav that's why prabhupad already told in vaishnav ke Prabhupada speaking. No, so they don't have that audacity inside their heart that I have uh, controlled it. It is just get controlled automatically by the kripa of Guru Vishnu. That's the thing. They are actually not getting uh, left. You can't leave them on your own, but it will automatically get uh, leave when you get get kripa of Guru Vishnu by just having a serving mood towards them. If you will serve Guru Vishnu. i have just left them it is just one kind of audacity so the, there is the question of getting control over your the shard vijay these all shard repos all six enemies you have to get control over them and for them rup goswami pad has already told previously that those persons who are just getting control over their vakya vek their man vek krodh vek and their jiva vek their udra pasta vek and ling vek everything all these shard waves you who have just uh, controlled them fully they can they can just uh, reign over whole world why because they will become jagat guru they are actually paramhans they are actually paramhans so they can just uh, get control over the whole world this is not a small a big big thing for them the first thing is that kirtan mein thakur ji that in the kirtan bhakti mein thakur ji has written bahut kasht hua thakur ji that uh, krishna i am getting lot of pain to get control over all these six enemies i am actually am not making any uh, normal bahut chesta ki thakur i am getting uh, i am doing different different kind of arrangements to get control over them but still i am not able to uh, get control over them I'm doing a lot of efforts in order to get control over there, oh, but still, I am, I am hopeless actually. I have just made all my individual efforts left. I have left them, and you are my only hope now. You can just control over my this thing, like Pralad Man has told to all those Asur kids. that uh, krishna whatever uh, what will go for you you are not kripan you are actually merciful so you have to just uh, completely you are actually speaking uh, just uh, take something for from, from me so just take something from me, but actually i want that all these asura kids should get delivered from this material world so if they will get delivered then uh, i'll think okay that you are merciful because without you there is no other way With, so all these asuras will where they will go they are actually kids of asura so they are actually just making their life full of garbage but totally material so they where they will go you are their only hope that's why pralad maharaj is speaking that thakur ji in course of their traveling through infinity brahmanda this is the exact moment 
This is the appropriate time, Krishna, that you are in front of them. You have just come uh, in front of them and you have to deliver all those asuras. That is the actual mercy, mercy of you. You have to make this uh, mercy fall on them so that they can get delivered. So this whole material world actually this is all going on birth and death. So now, now this is the point of my life now that you have come now in front of me and if I can just uh, deliver them all the suras by just uh, sending a mercy on them. So Prahlad Maharaj is speaking and Bhaktivinoda Thakur is also speaking the same point. You are my only hope now, O Krishna. You have to deliver me. So if a person who are just using their, uh, having this uh, false ego on their individual effort, if they will just uh, leave that and they will just get Sharnagat onto lotus feet of Krishna, then everything will be done automatically. Krishna will take care of us and they, he will just uh, get us out of this Shadri Pus. But uh, this kind of bhav we cannot uh, find in uh, in general because everyone is uh, just uh, making uh, their individual efforts and power. They are just having confidence on that. They are actually just uh, uh, at last they will just uh, uh, they are just uh, actually getting uh, lied by Maya Devi after that. If you have some individual efforts and power, who have, they, have they get any Siddhi in their bhajan? No, they, there is no uh, example of that. In Upadesh Amrit of Rukhshi Larub Goswami Pad, in the, this Rup, uh, Upadesh Amrit of Rukhshi Larub Goswami Pad, Bhakti no Thakur actually is uh, speaking and Prabhupada also speaking the Anubritti uh, of this Upadesh Amrit. So, no, by their uh, instructions, we are getting it, everything. And the biggest thing is that when if a bonded soul is getting a uh, lot of uh, material desires, material things you are giving to him, lot of material things you are giving to him, and he can enjoy all those things if you can give them, but still you can guarantee them that they will definitely, uh, okay, I am very satisfied. No, you can't guarantee that. Can you give that guarantee? Why there is no guarantee? Because he actually want to enjoy those material things. These are actually is the arrangement of Mahamaya. Mahamaya has just opened a new market of different different attractive material things. You can come and just collect it. You can just enjoy this. You can just eat, sleep and drink. That's it. But the most important thing is that just to enjoy all these material things, whatever attraction is there, Krishna can give everything. But still there is guarantee that we will get satisfied by all this. That yes, okay, I am just now dissatisfied with all these things because in fire, when you will just put ghee, then when you will just put some inflammable object in the fire, then fire will just get uh, sw will uh, switched off. No, 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 it will just get increased in the f in the burning fire. If you will just put some ghee or some inflammable object in that then that fire will get decreased you will have that uh, thing that the fire will get decreased no the air will not uh, get vanquished it will increase more and more you are just putting it in the fire how it is possible that the fire will get decreased so th this point actually jajati actually is putting in front of and also the case of pururava we can see the story of Pururava in Bhagavad Ji Mahapuran. It is also the is almost the same case. By Kama, by material desires, uh, by just doing material, by following material desires, it is not possible to get rid of Kama by material desires. It is not at all possible. That or if you are just making a lot of ghee or inflammable object in the fire, then the in fire will increase definitely, it will not get decreased. I have just talked about this point from a lot of days. 
दैट हाउ टू कंट्रोल ओवर योर वाक्य वेग हाउ टू कंट्रोल योर आई हैव ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड एंड आई विल स्टिल डिस्कस ऑल दिस पॉइंट्स एंड येस्टरडे आई वॉज जस्ट डिस्क इट इज एक्चुअली अरेंजमेंट ऑफ माया ऑफ कली दैट आवर हरी कथा जस्ट गॉट स्टॉप्ड इन बिटवीन इट इज जस्ट गॉट इन इनकम्प्लीट आई हैवेंट डन माई डन माई हरी कथा एंड आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग मर्सी फ्रॉम यू दैट आई विल जस्ट कम्प्लीट द हरी कथा टूडे बाई मर्सी ऑफ गुरु वैष्णव सो आई हैव जस्ट ऑलरेडी स्पोकन अबाउट दिस पॉइंट दैट प्रभुपाद जी हैव टोल्ड दैट दे आर आर एक्चुअली फॉर ब्रह्मचारी पीपल दे आर आर डिफरेंट इन द प्रीवियस ईयर्स at the time of prabhupa there were no different different rooms for brahmachari so prabhupa actually used to come there and uh, in front of some brahmachari or some 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 sanyasi he came and prabhupa actually do that brahmachari who actually want to stay in a peaceful mood and want to stay in a lonely place yes if you have just uh, heard about this that brahmachari always want to stay alone and uh, he just want to go stay in a very lonely place and prabhupad is actually going there and uh, and that brahmachari is there at one corner of the mat and Bra- prabhupad actually when uh, uh, just uh, came there and just uh, talked with someone and after that speaking by this brahmachari speaking so much brahmachari uh, prabhupad ji going there and speaking there was brahmachari why this brahmachari is speaking uh, so much just want to make him shut up actually people thinking that he is actually all externally he is uh, speaking nothing but uh, why you are speaking that he is speaking so much he is actually prophet not speaking anything he is not speaking to anyone you are speaking that he is speaking lot of things just try to shut up you can understand this thing if you are a godiamat devotee then you can understand this point if you are not a godiamat devotee then it is out of your uh, range you can't understand this point why because this point actually i have just uh, uh, discussed yesterday that by our externally we uh, by have not uh, made that word externally spoken in front of anyone because i want to show that uh, i have just to get control over my vakya veg but but inside inside my stomach there are so much material words inside my heart it is just like uh, boot bad boot bad that sound making inside my stomach and ex- externally i have just made it lokan ki there is uh, nobody in this whole world who can speak this that that bonded soul that the bonded soul also can't think this that externally he can just make a lokan ki Uh, and uh, ex- and uh, in a lonely place he can just do hari bhajan this is not uh, even the power of some father also he can't do because externally he is not uh, speaking anything uh, any word he is not speaking but internally inside his stomach so much material words inside his stomach that they are just making different different kind of noise that prabhupad only can see like i have already seen this kind of uh, kapat bhav that one baba he is actually not bhava he is some par baba <laughs> i can't speak that he is baba he is par baba so what he has done that he has just become silent and what he is doing after becoming silent he actually has taken a silent vrat after that he has some so much material desires and lust inside his and then he is speaking hmm 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 like this he is actually doing inside his by tongue he is actually not speaking but just by figuring out externally with his fingers oh hmm, hmm, you do this to that so this kind of uh, silent vrat what he has actually doing uh, he is like he will not actually do this if he is doing a actual silent vrat those who have actually just planned their uh, uh, born vrat that pure vaishnav their born vrat is not like this that they oh, you do this to do that just by figuring out that the whole material world will go to hell only he will speak hari katha that that's it he will not speak anything else parvat baba ka math hai like there is a math of parvat baba parvat in govardhan also in uh, Gova- i just used to go there previously and used to live there in parvat baba godia math uh, i think so 22 years back i used to stay there i just used to like there and stay and do bhajan in that month i will not speak the name of uh, anything why to speak the name okay i'll just speak the siddhant 
he actually in bonded state he actually just taken a silent vrat and after taking uh, becoming silent he is actually just making drama of doing hari bhajan and in that that bhakti vallabh tirth go swami maharaj it's this is not a case of this time it is just like i am just speaking about 22 years back i have just uh, heard it uh, like uh, from 22 years back that maybe bhakti vallabh tirth go swami maharaj went to the mat when bhakti vallabh tirth maharaj was not acharya at that time when he then he used to go there and for some reason he went there and uh, to the mat and he just uh, saw that there is no pujari no rasoiya and he there is one baba actually was doing some naam and after that uh, guru maharaj going there and uh, uh, asking if there is one uh, vaishnav like tirth go swami maharaj was there he don't know actually his uh, about his glories that he is such a big sadhu he don't know actually he is actually foolish he is you know he is not speaking anything and maharaj ji what happened he is actually not speaking anything uh, maybe i just very urgent uh, thing actually then after that bhakti vallabh tirth going went from their place and then he just the law that uh, aparad just got activated and then he just got into a fallen condition that baba agar tha and if I actually was just speaking Hari Katha in front of everyone. I just want to, and I was just want to do Hari Nam Sankirtan and just want to speak Hari Katha. And in the Parikrama, always I always you not uh, talking any material talkings. This is my rules and regulations while doing Parikrama. And if some uh, big Vishnu like Tirth Go Swami Maharaj or some other Bhati Go Swami Maharaj. or some senior vaishnav is just getting in the parikrama i just used to do tandvat and just want to speak two four words in front of them this is actually silent vrat so persons can't understand that what is actually uh, vakya vek that we can externally just lock and key our mouth and internally all kind of material words are going on so so our stomach is inside externally we are just stopping it uh we are actually forcefully uh, uh, just stopping our external mouth but inside that material words are always going on so prabhupad speaking this point that by speaking hari katha all those vakya veg will get control it is not against the our vakya veg it will definitely control our vakya veg because all those karam kandis uh, those who are doing all those maya vadis uh, their uh, foolish concept about god realization and all those uh, material world having that different kind of enjoyments of the material desires just to enjoy them what kind of all kind of these uh, uh, words and this material words uh, they, this comes in the category of vakya veg but hari katha kirtan doesn't came in the uh, way of vakya veg so now you can understand that what is beautiful siddhant given by prabhupad that prabhupad actually came there and speaking that this why this brahmachari is speaking so much why because prabhupad knows that that brahmachari he is actually eternal parshad of gorang and prabhupad can just see ex, ex, totally that he is not speaking outside but he is chattering so much inside Inside his heart, he is speaking so much material word. This, this, that, this, that. I will do, and externally he is not speaking anything. So Prabhupada actually knows about this. So you can see this thing. This is the actual glorification of our Godiyamat. Our high, we have so much anand and blissful attitude, happiness inside our heart that I am from Godiyamat. I am from Godiyamat. This is a big thing. My chest just become like forty-eight inches uh, wider. like i am from godiyamat aap log dukhi ho jate ho and you become so distressful by having this because with the member of godiyamat you are not getting any association if you have got association with the godiyamat devotee also still you are blind because you cannot get his association uh, so externally in godiyamat no one can come in godiyamat they can externally take sanyas or something but they don't have any relationship with godiyamat you have that uh, uh, wrong you have some misconception about this bhakti vinod thakur keshav ko swami maharaj lives vaman ko swami maharaj lives par prabhupad lives shridhar ko swami maharaj bhakti vinod puri ko swami all this they live in god in godiyamat anant sundaran is not there anant vasudev is not there in godiyamat they are actually out of the gate of godiyamat is all foolish and rubbish talks you don't know anything about godiyamat what you can realize
so i have just discussed about the vakya wave i just made one uh, effort to just by the kripa of gorang and uh, thakur ji that i just made uh, <coughs> i have just made effort to just discuss about the vakya wave now i'll just be discussing by the mercy of krishna and guru vishnu about man man wave about the mind how to control your mind because if our uh, uh, this point will remain incomplete then it is not good so about this man wave i have lot of things i have discussed earlier as well there is a bonded soul heart material mind in bhagavad gita mahapuran it is written in this shloka actually that our that our mind is like a chariot this chariot actually there is a, that bonded soul is just there and he can go in any direction by by this he don't need any passport and visa for that his man is mar mind is no immigration no migration nothing is required no certificate no certificate is required automatically our mind can go anywhere there is no stopping of our mind any anywhere it can go this is very dangerous this material mind to just get control over our mind is the is not a normal thing this is very dangerous because a uh, uh, mind is the top most dangerous because definitely it will it will take it to our hell this mind because this will can go anywhere because no tax no passport visa for this mind they automatically it will go anywhere in fraction of second it it is going to chandigarh it is going to bombay it is going to panchkula very very it can go and uh, they are actually just making uh, enjoyment for those to get material is the externally they are just becoming like a sadhu but their heart actually their mind actually going somewhere else where there is uh, strictly prohibited for a sanyasi but still their mind is going there now like in geeta bhagwan already have just spoken about this point that all your sense organs if you are by dramatically if you will just uh, uh, get uh, control over material sense like this leela you are showing to everyone externally that you have just dramatically controlled your material sense organs but actually you your even a single sense organ is not controlled this is the actual point your material sense organ is not under your control this is not going to obey you externally you are just showing it like a drama like a dog is a most faithful uh, creature and he is just uh, um, uh, you know and he is just following the instructions of his uh, master in the same way all just to murder your material sense organs it is not the case like this it is like that in barsana there is one person they are think all these sadhus think in man mandir it is this case has happened one person he is just has so much karma inside his heart that he has just cut off his link Oof. this is very very bad thing and in echa dau ji up to bihar when you can just find he has just cut his link and so much blood coming out Oof. this is the procedure no not at all this is is this the procedure that you just get want to get your uh, sense or control your sense organs this kind of instruction from where you have got who is your gurudev actually that you he is giving these kind of instructions all kind of rubbish like mad dog they are running they don't have that uh, actual perfect siddhant which are with a very cold mind peaceful mind you have to think you have to do anugatya then only you can understand this point then what what this is actually all kind of madness going on so like this material sense organs will not get controlled if someone has just get control over like that then what is the result of that you just have to cut and just throw oh i am just no i am just taking dry chapati that's it so by this what will happen if if you will just If, if you will just take two dry chapatis then what uh, you will get is krishna will get satisfied by that just by taking two dry chapatis ha huh? krishna will get happy no i have just uh, uh, asked i have just heard from one sadhu just only rotten things i have just taken you are just uh, taking uh, one chapati inside your head 
he is taking uh, all the rotten things in the morning he is taking that night time chapati and that night time he is taking in the morning so whether his bhakti there will be some is there any transaction with bhakti is there any link connection with bhakti devi oh so if you are taking any rotten thing okay you take an what is there for krishna is he satisfied you are taking some chapati or not though is there any satisfaction for krishna no foolish all kind of foolish instructions they don't know about the vichar dhara or perfect siddhanta of godiamat krishna actually speaking that by uh, to control your external sense organs those who were doing dramatically that they have just control their material sense organs and inside their heart there is lot of material desires and lust inside their heart always thinking about that and but in reality they have actually have got nothing in their life just dramatically they are showing that they have controlled their material material sense organs they are actually big kapat they will not get their absolute uh, blissful and happiness state in their life at all they will not get ex- eternal mangal because they are doing drama all dramatical they are actually liars they are actually uh, liars it is better that some persons who are externally showing that actually i am getting karma inside head slowly steadily i am actually uh, just going to rectify it so it that person is more matter so these kind of things are very actually difficult because man vek to get control our mind so that's why he just cut off his link of his but he don't know this, this information that this is not the solution to just externally cut your link and just not getting this control over your sense organs this is actually not the solution the sol- actual solution is that the son of your father is that those with inside all the wishes externally he is there and he is just uh, all thinking that everything is for enjoyment of krishna and he is just uh, uh, getting his uh, sense organ control internally and he is doing krishna kirtan there that is the actual son of father guru dev always used to speak in joking mood i am in vyasasan i am actually not speaking any anything uh, dramatical guruji actually used to speak in a choking mood with me the son of a father and the commander of a horse of a commander the it is something something is there or something not there always used to speak slow something is there so gurudev whatever used to speak i can't don't so, understand I but he used to speak in joking mode so previously i have already spoken that brahmachari prabhupada already spoken about that brahmachari that he has that material the ocean of material desire inside his heart that brahmachari has and prabhupada has already have pointed out that so much material words and material desire his heart is just going up and down in this material ocean and externally he is actually speaking is uh, he is like a sadhu so prabhupada actually has arrested him in uh, in front of prabhupada no kind of cleverness or smartness material smartness will go on so so those who are actually eating a fish and all chicken that are to just uh, drink wine and beer and uh, don't don't have any uh, mentality of getting mahaprasadam oh you just give me more rasa please give me more rasa you have just given me that parmana you haven't given me you have to give me so all this kind of taking nice nice delicious foods that is comes in the form of udrapastavik so slowly and steadily i will just speak about this that mahaprasadam to get a good and a bad vichar about mahaprasadam is not good so whatever the you getting the prasadam of radha govind ji or radha madan mohan ji i have just taken it all the gopinath also i have taken 
गोविंद जी प्रसादम राधा मदन मोहन जी एंड राधा गोपीनाथ ऑल द थ्री प्रसाद मै है इट इज वेरी ब्यूटिफुल वेरी नाइस प्रसाद एंड एंड जगन्नाथ प्रसाद ऑल्सो इफ यू टेक बाय फुल विथ फुल डिजायर एंड हैविंग दैट प्रसादम मेंटेलिटी इन साइड योर हार्ट इन योर माइंड देन इट देर इज नो प्रॉब्लम देन उधर वेग विल नॉट क्रिएट प्रॉब्लम इट विल नॉट कम इन द कैटेगरी ऑफ उधर वेग एंड इफ यू हैव दैट विच आर दैट मेंटेलिटी दैट दैट यू हैव टू गिव मी मोर प्रसादम ऑफ दैट पल्लाव जी महाराज देर इज अ स्पेशल प्रसादम मेड फॉर पल्लाव जी महाराज ओ प्लीज यू गिव मी दैट मोर दैट विल बिकम अपराध फॉर यू बिकॉज यू डोंट हैव दैट यू आर जस्ट गेटिंग दैट इंजॉइंग मूड इन दैट प्रसादम सो दैट विल बिकम अपराध फॉर यू यू डोंट हैव दिस विचार मेंटेलिटी दैट दिस इज एक्चुअली प्रसादम यू आर एक्चुअली थिंकिंग दैट दिस इज ओ आई जस्ट वॉन्ट टू टेक मोर मोर सो दिस इज विल बिकम एन इंजॉइंग मूड फॉर यू all those uh, proper speaking all those uh, rich people he has actually giving different different kind of uh, uh, prasadam bhog to uh, uh, krishna and he has just uh, taken uh, uh, one brahman and he is just making him sit and just giving a lot of prasadam i am just giving you one story about which has already has taken place in my own life one time what am i in the uth festival of baknas ko swami maharaj i used to speak hari katha i have i am not going now actually there there must be some reason but that at that time what happened all vaishnavas actually are going there all sanyasi is actually going but okay where i will go okay you can go there is actually one festival in baknas ko swami maharaj kodi mat i will i can just go and speak hari katha and after that we can take prasadam and i have just gone there uh, and seen oh there is no hari katha there is all drama going on and after that in the line all sit there and in there is ganpati maharaj shiv ji maharaj oh maharaj you can take so much prasadam oh i just said uh, what i can speak there if i will not take anything then they will speak uh, all foul words to me then uh, maharaj actually speaking oh, i am actually in feeling very sick i just want to stay uh, like uh, sleep because i can't take all those uh, foolish things this is that because that is not prasadam if in the house of a rich person i can't take uh, food that mahapras that prasadam there is one uh, actually businessman of kanpur he actually just uh, asked me to go and speak hari katha there and there is one my god brother actually he was there he is a disciple of someone else and he also went there and uh, when i went there and uh, just uh, sit there for hari katha okay i speak on hari katha it is actually kanpur i went after that uh, they are giving different different kinds of prasadam and if i will just uh, not uh, eating prasadam then there is a problem in vrindavan also lot of th- they have just uh, asked me for prasadam and i have just speak on hari katha and all maharaj actually taking the person who is giving me prasadam i will not take uh, water from his hand so you are t- speaking about prasadam i am just taking uh, two four fruits that's it what i can do in that so this kind of all things actually that to take uh, uh, you are taking prasadam at a very rich rich house family they are actually in the name of prasadam actually they are they are actually uh, offering to bhagwan if i will go there and i will take it will come in it will come in the come uh, in the category of udar veg and jiva veg because actually there are lot of delicious things and all are material and if some materialistic person will just offer something to krishna that will not become prasada whether they have just offered it to krishna but still krishna has taken it or not have you have in, any information about that no whether bhagwan has taken that or not because there is a very major uh, siddhant vichar there is actually all madness of all this material world this kind of bandara who who is doing that bandara who he is actually or shridhar ko swami maharaj or bhakti pramod puri ko swami maharaj is doing the bandara actually there is a one who has done that bandara which maharaj has done what is the rank of that maharaj and after that who by which money yeah, that bandara is uh, done 
if you are if it, it is done with the all black money and with black money all this bandara is going on like madhav goswami maharaj will not do with the black money or shirdhan goswami maharaj will not do with black money the bandara this kind of confidence i have and the second thing is that who has done the uh, cooking who is the pujari these kind of all factors actually will come into play you have to just think this i have you have actually for your whole life you haven't actually heard about this siddhant vichar i think because all these factors are all in, interdependent to each other if pujari is character less like madhav ko swami maharaj you definitely will not allow him in the kitchen who the most biggest factor is the, those who who do who is actually offering bhoga to krishna some lot of foreigners have also questioned me i am given them a very big uh, stretched answer to them by the kripa of guru vishnu and bhagwan oh like this it is yes this is the vichar actually then only that bhog is there on actual bhog is or not and it is a uh, that is prasad or not you have to see that so you haven't uh, you are saying oh mahaprasad just sitting there and just eating i have already seen this in himachal i just went i will not speak about the, about the name one maharaj there is one abhirbhav tithi of some maharaj they have just taken me there in himachal and with the car i just went there i will not speak about the name i just seen there this kind of a function and festival they arranged there is a very rented uh, there is a rented uh, <laughs> there is a, a rented uh, place there actually where all kind of marriage home like it's a, like a marriage home where all kind of uh, different uh, liquors and all kind of uh, material persons used to do their festival so i just went there and i was just uh, thinking oh ho oh, oh, ho ram ram i where i will sleep where i will sit and where i will take potter and where i will take food and what i can speak about that without uh, eating anything i was just there after hari katha i will i was not speaking anything and uh, uh, very fastly i was just uh, want to able to go from there actually a very small person so where i can i just uh, stayed there and just not eating anything there for the whole day they are speaking that you can come here and you just uh, you can take prasadam and at that said that floor only where all those girls are dancing and everything liquor is going on oh, prasadam you i was just thinking whether your father has also seen prasada whoop i will not take prasada there no other snow at acharan actually nobody wants to follow every don't have the wish to follow that other acharan of actual guru vishnu they just want to like to make a flat platform on which they compel that you will have to stand you just have to go on this platform only you have just have to stand on this platform only. because our guru maharaj has not told us our prabhupada has uh, not told us no i will not uh, be hearing your point so that's why oh, i will not go there foolish i have just went to one temple the, all the before before sadhu sanyasi is taking prasadam girls are taking prasadam <laughs> they are just went yeah. to the kitchen and they are just taking uh, girls are taking prasadam women are taking that is not prasadam hey, this is prasadam no this is not prasadam before sadhu sanyasi uh, all those women are just uh, taking prasadam this is actually the uh, rules oh this is all rubbish going on so to get uh, control udar veg and upasthi i will just uh, do it tomorrow the bhagwan never the what is actually given to bhagwan offer to bhagwan cheez hai those uh, those uh, things actually in true sense if you have just offered it to bhagwan everything has some scientific meaning arpit kiya gaya arpit that i will to, have to speak in true sense to have, have you offered it uh, to bhagwan uh, in actual with actual bhav then only i can take that in the form of prasadam then that will not come in the form of udar vek that jiva vek our jiva vek and our jagdanand pandit also have spoken about this point clearly jiwar lalo se je itu kuti dhai jiwar lalo se je itu kuti dhai 
Shishnodar Parayan Krishna Nahi Pahe. Jeeva Vek just want to take a good, uh, very nice Rasmalai, peat and all kinds of, uh, all kinds of uh, chatpati and mirchi and all things which we want to take. Uh, when uh, he is going to uh, give, uh, uh, you just give me pitha pana and just uh, don't give me any uh, 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 salty things to me. Maharaj always used to speak. So, Gorang Mahaprabhu always used to speak. You just give everything to them or whatever Paramana or everything. You just give me like a dry lakda or something. Swarup Dhamadar Goswami always used to speak that Jagannath Ji has already taken or oh, just take some one or something. Jagannath Ji has uh, taken this so you also have to take it. Okay, okay, now you can do only one. That is the actual vichara of Mahaprabhu. So, Jagdanand Prambhu actually is the actual eternal Parshad of Bhagwan. From the childhood only, he is actually, uh, uh, he has just grown up with the Mahaprabhu only. And Jagdanand Pandit Ji actually has uh, written one, uh, one uh, nice book that is very strange and very difficult to get now. If you will actually read this one book under the guidance of pure Guru Vaishnava, then definitely we will get Bhagavad Pravdi in this life 100%. But if he will follow the instruction, then only. That is called Prem Vivart. Lot of uh, Raganuga Bhakta, all actually they just want to want to throw this book. All kind of big Rupanuga Raganuga Bhakta. Actually, Mahaprabhu, actually, they have just categorized these kind of foolish sannyasis, foolish people. Those who are actually thinking that they are Rupa Nuga, Raga Nuga Bhakta. But they, in the name of Raga Nuga Bhakta, they are nothing. They actually don't know that Mahaprabhu has categorized them. They think that we have categorized this book, but they are actually categorized by Mahaprabhu. How they will get uh, uh, differentiate uh, Prem Vivart? Because they can't... Uh, uh, differentiate uh, Jagannath Pandit because the Siddhant Vijar is what is there in Prem Vivarth. It is not there when you will read thousands of Shastras or Vedas or books. You will not get that. And our Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj also. Our Gaur Kishore Das Babaji Maharaj in his life. He yeah, has just taken uh, Narottam Das Thakur, Prem Bhakti Chandrika in his armpit, always there. He always used to take it on the lap. Just with the armpit, he used to move with that Prem Vivar Chandrika. Prarthana Prem, Prem Bhakti Chandrika. Always he, he has that with him. And he always used to just uh, that Prem Bhakti by Prem Prarthana Prem Bhakti Chandra, I can just uh, go to Supreme Lord. This is also my confidence as well. 100% uh, confidence I have that by Prarthana Prem Bhakti Chandrika, reading that only, if I can just speak that under the guidance of pure Guru Vaishnava, then definitely uh, I don't need anything apart from that. But when you going to the Pravachan and Harikatha, you just need to go through different Shastras like Keshav Goswami Maharaj always used to uh, read uh, Mayavadi philosophy because if he will not read then how he will cut that Siddhant Vichar. So that's why they used to speak the Mayavadi philosophy and other books so that they can give uh, the actual uh, uh, Siddhant to them. So, though Jagannath Pandit Siddhant Vichar, uh, that Prem, Vi- Prem Vivarth book, there is so unique bhava, so unique reality is there inside that. So nice bhava actually there. That Jagdanand Pandit, this Jagdanand Prem Vivarth, I have just uh, for one month in Narsimhapalli, I used to do part in Narsimhapalli before, like I am just speaking about 8 to 10 years back. I was just uh, uh, reading this in front of uh, Nirsimapali and the people are speaking that what they are actually speaking but that is the biggest uh, book for me uh, in my whole life that by, uh, by your own estimation I am actually a small person so for Prem Vibharth is the topmost book for me so I will just take this and uh, will go forward in my bhajan life and that's why I just used to speak about this. So Jagdanand Pandit has just given so much 
that what is the instruction of a tyage bhakti how he why he has become a sanyasi and how he has what is the acharan etiquette of the sanyasi and if he will do some wrong in his uh, bhajan life then what will happen you can understand bangla no महाप्रभु नो बडी कैन कम इन अपंट इन इन फ्रंट ऑफ महाप्रभु एंड हाउ All these kind of things, actually, Ma Prabhu told. <coughs> Lot of things Ma Prabhu has told. If we can just go for it, one one uh, instructions of Ma Prabhu, it is actually given in the if in the present situation of uh, Gaudiya society, it is kind of a great evolution at present. What is going on now in Gaudiya Mat? so that will become a evolution in godiamat whatever is is there in the present situation going on jagadanand pandit ji so jagadanand prabhu in prem vibharth has written this bhai gammo katha na sunibe bairagi bhai gammo katha na sunibe kane gammo vaata na kohibe jabe milibe ane jab aap then you will uh, when you are going to meet someone that viragi will not uh, will not speak about any materialistic things and he will not hear about material things as well and when he will just uh, uh, going to meet anyone then he will not speak anything material from his mouth this will all go when you will just uh, uh, actually Ma- maharaj vishak mahina is going out so there is a, this is an income month so some foolish sanyasi speaking It is actually income month, Maharaj. So we will get a lot of money in this month, in Vesak month. He doesn't doesn't have seen any kind of money in his life, but still he is speaking like this. That this is actually Vesak month. So this is actually income month. So where I will more go, run to different different places, I will get more money. So Vesham mean I Vesak mean is income month. I was just laughing at him. What kind of things he are speaking? Yogan Pandit has written in Prem Vivarth about this. In the dream also, you don't. If you are doing a, don't do association of women. And uh, when you when you are just staying in your house, what is your problem? You have. you have your you have just come in the mud now you also require women now here also what is this when you are doing some satvik vas you have come here to stay in mud leaving everything else and when you actually want some prem association with gorang mahaprabhu then you just need to remember about chota haridas thakur just need to remember about the katha of chota haridas don't forget about that this mahaprabhu actually giving instruction <coughs> shri man mahaprabhu ji has given these instructions golden instructions to ragunath das goswami ragunath das goswami pad just uh, again and again speaking to uh, swarup das swarup goswami that uh, you give me some instructions regarding the bhajan krishna bhajan so that uh, krishna uh, gorang mahaprabhu can uh, give me some instructions he is asking to swarup ka, swarup guru ko swami ragunath swami cannot go directly to the prabhu so that's why speaking to swarup ko swami then swarup ko swami actually speaking that ragunath want to actually want some instructions from your lotus mouth if you just can speak two to four words then he want to hear then mahaprabhu speaking that okay ragunath he is speaking that that actually swarup the damodar gosai is your guru now he is your guru now swarup gosai re tumar upadeshta kori dilo swarup gosai ke tumar swarup damodar goswami is now guru for you so you should ask him now swarup gosai jo janta hai 
वट स्वरूप का दादा को नोज एक्चुअली आई डोंट नो दैट मच You can understand this point. This is the same thing Jagadanand Pandey is talking about in Prem Vibhart. There is a last, vast, lengthy uh, uh, vast, lengthy explanation of this. Like uh, when you will take a uh, lot of food and you will take a so lot of delicious food, who will uh, get uh, into distress? in his bajan life those actually who are taking the nice nice foods in a hidden form uh, we will just get uh, distracted from pure krishna bhajan and why you will just uh, spend money on just taking good good uh, nice nice clothes then that will not be better for you as a sadhak so that is actually for a pure devotee for a staunch devotee of krishna it is strictly prohibited to eat nice nice food and nice nice clothes to wear that's why sanatan goswami pad uh, has just taken one uh, old clothes from chandrashekar acharya when he just uh, came with his bald um, uh, bald head and just shaving his beard when he just taking the instruction of uh, gorang mahaprabhu to just uh, uh, shave his head and uh, uh, beard he is now he is actually gentleman but now prabhu speaking to him but uh, he is actually gentleman but the vaishnav has this kind of language you go and become a gentleman you are you are actually a foolish person you are like a pajama it doesn't mean like this vaishnav always speak like this you can go and you, dol dal means to go to that trend bhadra means you just go and have your shave head and beard and uh, for burin i will speak in hindi i am going to lagu shanka this is a very nice beautiful language what uh, vaishnavs used to speak you have to just learn this otherwise we like uh, otherwise like uh, village people they will speak uh, like a uh, cattle they will be speaking foolish that uh, i am going for tatti so this is not good so vaishnav has very uh, topmost acharan very sophisticated acharan you can't uh, even get that so jagadanand pandit actually mahaprabhu actually uh, in varanasi uh, in sanatan goswami and actually he came to mahaprabhu there and he is asking chandrashekar and if you can see if somebody has come outside gorang mahaprabhu asking chandrashekar some vaishnav has come chandrashekar jare just came outside and he said he just came inside and then said no 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 one is there oh, no vaishnav is there this someone there outside the gate yes there is one one darvesh is there one muslim is there sitting just bring him only inside he, yes yes that darvesh you bring him everything all beard and hair he has then he came in front of mahaprabhu and mahaprabhu just jumping up and just taking him um, in lap and just speaking oh prabhu don't actually touch me i am actually achu don't touch me and mahaprabhu speaking then you don't know you are topmost pandit and topmost pure by just getting your association uh, by just taking your association i will be i will become pure what for what purpose i am just uh, taking your association because you are very pure and then just giving him respect and thus uh, then speaking then you have just uh, how you came back from uh, that uh, jail how you escape from there <laughs> krishna all mogorang mabro already know everything oh where is roop actually how you came out from the jail how you escape from there actually he is asking everything from sanatan goswami pad so this is actually the leela of uh, gorang mahaprabhu and he is asking chandrashekar uh, you can you just uh, take him at the bank of ganga and just uh, just uh, make him uh, just be clean and with head and shape shaved properly and then after taking bath in ganga he can come back i'm just taking him out talking about vairagya like our guru work sanatan goswami pad is our guru work and mahaprabhu speaking that uh, what uh, mahaprabhu speaking uh, chandrashekar acharya before that only he is actually giving a new dhoti to him sanatan goswami speaking actually i will not take 
and prabhu is laughing sanatan goswami ji are saying you can take one cloth from here no 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 i will not take sanatan goswami ji speaking then what you will wear then then if you have some old cloth or something then you can give me that i can wear that so he is asking sanatan goswami ji was speaking to chandrashekhar acharya if you have some old cloth what you will do of that old cloth then he said if you have some cold cloth then you can give otherwise a new cloth i will not take then mahaprabhu is laughing at this situation then chandrashekhar acharya just giving him an old cloth and uh, after take and after taking uh, that uh, old cloth he is just making copin bahirvas and uttriya all the three things with that by to- by that torn old cloth and you will just think that who has given that sanyasu sanatan goswami par nar guru varg has just uh, speaking this they are natural paramhans they don't need uh, they no need to take external vesh they don't require any external vesh from anyone they are actually nitya parshad नित्य परमहंस ऑटोमेटिकली दे आर ऑल परमहंस ओनली सो नेचुरली महाप्रभु जस्ट टेकिंग इन फ्रंट महाप्रभु इन फ्रंट ऑफ देम ही जस्ट मेकिंग ऑल उत्तरिया भैरवास एंड कॉपी यू सी द डिग्री ऑफ दैट एंड आफ्टर दैट दैट केस ऑफ कंबल क्लॉथ जस्ट केम when someone has given him uh, before he is going to uh, mahaprabhu actually mahaprabhu just seeing that uh, good good kambal to what he has just caught why he is actually watching that kambal uh, um, again and again then Mah- then sanatan goswami pad just uh, getting uh, this thing inside his realize this thing that he just uh, went to the ganga bank of ganga and then again he just uh, has given that new kambal a uh, new uh, kambal to the beggar and he's taking that old torn kambal from him and uh, after that he's speaking he just feel that person beggar just become very angry you are just a gentleman person you are just uh, kidding with me hmm, making fun of me that so nice and costly kambal you are giving me and you are just taking old torn kambal no no actually i am not uh, at all uh, uh, making joking with you i am you just take this uh, new kambal from me and you just give me that old torn kambal okay you can take that is your will then after that uh, sanatan goswami taken that old torn kambal and just taking in on his body and mahaprabhu was just laughing now it's okay now mahaprabhu was feeling very good then i can uh, i was just uh, thinking that what happened like uh, gorang mahaprabhu speaking that sanatan goswami sanatan is actually bhagwan krishna has uh, has uh, removed all the kind of vishay from sanatan goswami and this why krishna will just uh, Uh, make a last uh, disease inside uh, sanatan goswami so that's why when you i was also thinking that uh, how this vishay that krishna has done so much power that he can remove all kind of maya and vishay from everyone because krishna is all merciful he is actually uh, removing all kind of bhavrog from the uh, from the heart of a pure devotees and he is actually removing all kind of uh, uh material material uh, disease from the heart of every devotee so he krishna has actually helped him in getting cutting all the kind of diseases but how this uh, disease of kambal can uh, get inside you so now you ex- uh, by uh, immediately krishna has given you that inside your heart that you have just given your costly kambal to that and you are just taking that torn owned kambal uh, uh, from that beggar so that is good now krishna mahaprabhu actually speaking this to sanatan goswami pad that that so costly kambal you are actually taking on your body and why you are taking madhukari so this will be good when you will be taking madhukari from someone and having a very costlier uh, kambal on him it will not be good madhukari gras itna kimti bhut kambal ka or ke bhut kambal ko or ke aur madhukari gras hai so this will not be possible all people will just uh, laughing at you no that costly kambal is there on your body i was just thinking of this and then you are going for madhukari it will not be good agar hum log gaudiya ko 
सो इफ वी आर एक्चुअली डूइंग गौड़िया भजन इफ यू एक्चुअली इन एक्चुअल वी आर गोइंग टू डू गौड़िया भजन देन वी हैव टू जस्ट थिंक ऑफ ऑल दीज पॉइंट एंड इफ यू वॉन्ट टू डू एक्चुअल गौड़िया भजन इन एक्चुअल देन यू हैव टू थिंक ऑफ ऑल दीज थिंग्स देन वॉट इज द गौरंग महाप्रभु वॉट गौरंग महाप्रभु यूज वॉन्ट टू स्पीक वॉट इज सिटिंग ईटिंग स्पीकिंग एवरी थिंग ऑफ महाप्रभु इज एक्चुअली इन ईच एंड एवरी द पॉइंट देर इज आइडलिज्म इज देर इज एग्जाम्पल फॉर ऑल दोज गौरिया डिवोट इज हाउ टू फॉलो दैट आदर शाचरन महाप्रभु एक्चुअली हैज शोन अस दैट हाउ टू डू कृष्ण भजन एंड हाउ टू डू रूपानुक एट दैट टाइम दैट इज नॉट रूपानुक रूपानुक जस्ट बिकम लेटर दैट हाउ टू डू रागनु का भजन ऑफ कृष्णा एंड हाउ टू डू मधुर रस भजन ऑफ कृष्णा एंड गौरंग महाप्रभु ऑलरेडी हैव शोन अस एंड एवरी टाइम अंडर द काइंडनेस ऑफ महाप्रभु वॉट सार्वम भट्टाचार्य हैज टोल्ड अबाउट द आचरण ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु हैज रिटर्न सार्वम भट्टाचार्य हैज रिटर्न अबाउट वन हंड्रेड श्लोक्स ऑफ गौरंग महाप्रभु दिस ग्लोरीफाइंग महाप्रभु by with that hundred shlokas and i have also have uh, uh, given a lot of books uh, on this regarding hundred shlokas of gorang mahaprabhu there it is written actually usme bahut sare cheez a lot of things are there sarvam bhattacharya sarvam bhattacharya actually has written about gorang mahaprabhu bairag vidya nij bhakti yogo shikshartam ekam purusho purano shri krishna chaitanya sharir dhari This actually goes Sarvam Bhattacharya speaking. Vairagya Vidya. What is that Vairagya Vidya? Why? What? We? I will just discuss it tomorrow. When Vairagya will be called Vidya? And when Vairagya will be called Avidya? According to what? What? Maya Vadi is Vairagya is actually Avidya, and Vaishnav Vaishnav Vairagya is Vidya. एंड आवर भजन मुद्रा एक्चुअली दैट इज द ओशन ऑफ मर्सी वैष्णव यू जस्ट हैव टू टेक द शेल्टर ऑफ दैट वैष्णव एंड आई एम जस्ट आस्किंग फॉर कॉसलेस मर्सी ऑफ दोस्ट प्योर वैष्णव लाइक दिस को सार्वम भट्टाचार्य स्पीकिंग सो दे आर एक्चुअली वैरागी ऑल द गौड़िया वैष्णव पीपल दे आर वेर आगे इज क्वाइट नेचुरल ऑल दोज हु आर गौड़िया डिवोटीज गौड़िया गौड़िया मैट डिवोटीज दे आर एक्चुअली क्वाइट नेचुरल दैट वेर आग दे आर नॉट मैन मेड वेर आगे मायावादी इज वेर आगे दे डोंट वॉन्ट दे डोंट हैव इवन वन वन रूपी देर देर वेर आगे वॉट एवर दे विल स्पीक दोज मायावादीज इट इज नॉट इक्वल टू वन रूपी ऑल्सो they don't have any value even equivalent to rupees 1 rupees also they don't have that value all rubbish like garbage those those that veragya which is not used for the service of bhagwan and that veragya who is which is not being used in the service of krishna in a positive uh, manner then what uh, then of what use that veragya that veragya is of no use so i am actually uh, just wearing nice nice clothes in front of everyone so that i can speak hari katha in front of everyone that is actually yukta vairagya whether i am actually uh, in the room i am just uh, uh, just wearing a copin but when i am just coming in front of all of all the people in all the gentlemen aristocratic people and i am coming in uh, front of copin and I'm just speaking hari katha that is not at all good that prabhupada actually has not t- taught us prabhupada has taught us the actually instruct the actual instructions of prabhupada is something different the prabhupada always want that uh, in gaudiya math big big people uh, they were actually going against prabhupada they haven't understand what prabhupada is speaking prabhupada actually is speaking they just uh, <coughs> invite uh, big big people of this materialistic world they should be all invited here but uh, in the gate you should uh, after their coming just uh, add no entry in front of the gate विदाउट परमिशन नो एंट्री बाय सो दैट दे कैन अंडरस्टैंड दैट गौड़िया मठ इज वेरी चीप ही कैन अंडरस्टैंड वॉट गौड़िया मठ ऑल फुलिश पीपल साधु एक्चुअली आर लिविंग दे विल जस्ट थिंक दैट सो दैट्स वाई युक्त बैरागे इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इन फ्रंट ऑफ दैम 
दैट इज एक्चुअली युक्त वैराग्य सो दोज हु आर एक्चुअली हैविंग फॉल्स ईगो देन यू हैव टू जस्ट हु एक्चुअली जस्ट बाय हेयरिंग टू वर्ड्स ही विल जस्ट लाइक अ टॉग यू जस्ट सिट हियर वाई यू आर जस्ट यू आर यू हैव जस्ट कम इन फ्रंट ऑफ होम सो दैट दे विल जस्ट अंडरस्टैंड एस दैट वी आर वेरी चीप सो बिकॉज गुरु वैष्णव एक्चुअली दे आर नॉट वैल्यूएबल दे डोंट थिंक दैम सेल्स इज वैल्यूएबल दे आर एक्चुअली थिंकिंग दैट आई एम नॉट वैल्यूएबल दिस इज जस्ट अ टेक्निक दिस इज एक्चुअली युक्त वैराग्य सो दैट्स वाई प्रभुपाद ऑलवेज यूज टू इन्वाइट साइंटिस्ट को वर्ना फ्रॉम ऑल द मटीरियलिस्टिक वर्ल्ड इन दिस इंग्लिश मॉडर्न वर्ल्ड ऑल्सो बिकॉज इफ दे आर कमिंग If in the newspaper uh, it will be just uh, just printed that that will actually become a news. News ban gaya na? A news. This will actually become a news in the newspaper which will get printed. In the one master actually in my childhood has just taught me that if one dog actually has just uh, cut one person, this is this is not a news. But if a, if a man is just uh, cutting a dog, that will become a news. I was just laughing at that. If uh, a dog is just uh, cutting a man, that is not a news. But if a person who is just cutting a dog, then that will become a news. So this is all the technique of Prabhupad. Prabhupad is just viceroy general of India and Bengal governor. Everyone is coming in Goa Mat. and what all they are uh, just uh, what propas is speaking in front of them and what viceroy is speaking everything will come in, in the newspaper and preaching will be done automatically so the technique of the preaching of godiamat and uh, what the uh, that rahasya mein vairagya with propad is teaching us that rahasya mein vairagya in the life of propad is at extreme level gorang mahaprabhu mahaprabhu and propad is not is equal to that it is not at all non different from gorang mahaprabhu what the what the what the vairagya of propad is equal to vairagya of gorang kishor das baba ji gorang kishor das baba ji is vairagya is equal to ragunath das das mein ban externally we can just understand like bhakti no thakur has no vairagya he is actually taking will three times and he is doing the bhajan he is actually taking nice nice uh, uh, clothes also but prabhupad actually has just uh, taught us this vichar that bhakti no thakur vairagya is equal to gaur kishor das baba ji and that vairagya is equal to ragunath das goswami pad this is not at all indifferent from that externally i will just uh, uh, teach this uh, in uh, uh, tomorrow i will just discuss about it i just want to beg your mercy and uh, very sorry for that that uh, i haven't uh, i haven't done the katha previously it was it was an incomplete sishnanatastak udaram savanam kutashti gran annatas chapaladrikka chakaram saktir bahavo shapatna evo gehopatim lunanti banchakalpaturus ke basin vivaja patitanan pavana bhavishna bhyo namo